Kai Radke here with LynxBasketball.com. I'm here for the first uh, Reeve report of the season with uh, Lynx coach Cheryl Reeve, and we've got the Mayo Clinic backdrop. Now, we talked this offseason about it a lot. Um, what did that partnership kind of mean to you as a coach of this team? Well, I think more than anything, I was just really happy for our players to be rewarded in this way, uh, to have been one of the top teams in the league for uh, those three seasons. Uh, I just felt like they deserved uh, the backing of such a prestigious company. Um, now, 2003. 14, you guys won the title, of course, last season. You have the chance to repeat for the second time. Um, you didn't do it in 2012. Um, are you reminding your players that they didn't repeat? Are you guys talking about the title right now, or is that something you're not talking about at all? Well, right now in camp, I don't have everybody here, so it's kind of easy to not to not, uh, not talk about it because eight out of the ten players are new, seven new to the league. So we're just trying to get through our drills and, and uh, not talking about winning games. But uh, when the group does get here and we start moving towards uh, an opening day, uh, we're not going to shy away from the idea, you know, that uh, – and, and I don't think the media will let us, uh, you know, get away with you know, not talking about it. But – um, you know, we want to embrace, embrace the idea that this is our, it's a unique opportunity to have a second crack at, at doing something like this in such a short period of time with the same group of players. And, uh, you know, so we're going to draw on the experience. I thought we drew on our experience of, of 2012 last year in 2013. Um, I hope that we still have some hunger in us and because and, uh, that's what it's going to take, you know, just, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, all the cliches that are going to be thrown at us and, you know, targets on our back and all that good stuff. But, um, you know, more than anything, what I think we're really good at is kind of staying the course, taking one day at a time, and that's not going to be any different. And, and uh, hopefully we look, at, look up at the end and, and uh, we'll give ourselves a chance to repeat. Yeah, like you said, uh, a lot of the vets that were on the team that helped you win those two championships are not here yet. Um, what's it like for these, these rookies? They're getting a chance to impress you um, that a lot of rookies don't have in the WNBA right now. What's, what's it kind of been like watching that? Uh, it gives them a false sense of confidence uh, for the young players to be here and, and uh, have success. And then uh, actually what I like for them is to, is to build that confidence and kind of get them ready for when the vets do arrive, that they're able to compete. Uh, more effectively uh, now that they've learned some of the nuances and so it's kind of good to have that uh, private time if you will with them and, and try to teach and I'm gonna have a whole week uh, of getting stuff in and, and I like what we're doing I like their focus uh, they're embracing you know some of the the new stuff and it's been hard but yet they haven't gotten down and and uh, so I'm excited for the veterans to see this group uh, one position battle that I've I'm kind of intrigued by as a bigs you guys added um, you know th at least three of the power forward center positions in the offseason um, you know, we haven't been there for every practice, but what's it been like watching them through practice? And what, what do you think this competition is gonna gonna end up like? Yeah, you know, that was that was probably our focus uh, in the offseason too. Just really, really curious about what we had um, in these former, uh, not former, but the past draft picks and Demiris Dantas and Watia Roll. Uh, to really see what we have there because they have been playing for a couple years professionally, and um, that was going to be neat to kind of you know see something different than a rookie. At least that you know Watia went and played uh, in Bulgaria and, and got some pro experience and. And then these draft picks, you know, just we know they're going to be really green, but uh, they do some things really well, you know, Asia Taylor and, and uh, Asia Bussey. So um, we see great competition. We see great competition. I think that uh, Demiris has a maturity about her uh, that, that's unlike the others, and that's been fun to watch. Uh, despite, you know, the language barrier, you know, you wouldn't know it. You can't walk into the gym and pick her out as somebody that doesn't, that doesn't know what's happening. Um, and so we've, I think we've got ourselves a nice, nice collection of players, and uh, I think we've, we've accomplished some things in the post this year. Uh, Lynx fans got some not so great news when they heard about Monica Wright's uh, left knee injury um, could be sidelined up to uh, six weeks. Um, you guys got Tan White though, and you talked about earlier in camp how that was kind of your, your cashing on that insurance policy. Um, what have you seen from her so far in camp? Well, uh, what I appreciate so far is you know Van or Tan is a uh, you know almost a ten-year vet um, that is in training camp with a bunch of new people. And, um, you know, sometimes the vets kind of don't enjoy being a part of that. And uh, what I've enjoyed with Tan is that she's, she's embraced it and is really um, looking to learn, looking to learn what we do, how we like to play, um, and doesn't get frustrated with the young players. And, and so she's been, I think, really a kind of a, a solid veteran, uh, the consummate pro. And, um, you know, I think as we move forward, just kind of learning her game and how she's going to fit into what we're doing. And like you said, with Monty being out, it's going to get her higher reps to, uh, for us to learn that much quicker. Preseason game Monday. Um, you ready? I am. And I, I think this group is going to be really excited. We, we still have uh, a few more days of practice until we get there. Um, but I, you know, I'm, I'm excited for this group because they have worked really, really hard. And um, we're going to see a quality team in the Australian national team. Um, you know, so we're going to throw these guys into the fire and, and uh, see what they can do. 
All right. Well, thanks, Coach. I appreciate you for joining me. Um, this is Kyle Radke signing off, linksbasketball.com.